Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories. A place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we saw that Lily and her friend Jem, I don't know, just started hanging upside down on a branch and seemed to be, uh, I don't know, transforming or transporting? I'm not sure. Something crazy was going on. We're in the middle of a mystery episode, so make sure that you've listened to part one. But let's see what happens next. Lily woke up. It was quiet and dark. She realized she was all wrapped up, like being zipped up in a sleeping bag. It reminded her of the egg that she was once in before. She tried to move, but it was very tight. She squirmed and budged. She pushed and pressed, and then suddenly she broke through. Her head popped out first. It was like climbing out of the egg, but this time she felt different. What are these? She thought. There were giant antennas where her nose was. They were long and bushy. Just then, she slid the rest of the way out of whatever she was in. She landed on a stick and tried to move her legs, but something felt very different. She looked down. She did not have as many legs as before. She looked on her back and saw something amazing. Wings! I have wings now! Lily yelled with excitement. She began to move them gently back and forth. She was a little kind of wet from being in whatever she was, you know, had just slid out of. She thought she should hang out on the stick for a little bit to dry off. Just then, Lily looked over and saw Jem. Jem was realizing he had wings as well. Hey, Jem, check me out. I got wings, Lily shouted. Jem looked over and had a look of disbelief. How did this happen? Did we get transformed into some kind of alien? I feel like we were just hanging upside down just a minute ago, and now we've transformed into something. Totally new. So little did Jem and Lily know, they've actually been transforming for days and days. They did not realize that they, you know, that it had been that long because they'd been sleeping. Have you ever been sleeping and you you wake up and it feels like it had just been a, a minute, but you'd actually been asleep for 12 hours? What do you think Lily and Jem are? Hmm, let's go over some of the facts. They hatched out of an egg, and they could not stop eating. They grew and grew and grew until they were four inches long. Hmm. After that, they hung upside down and created something like a sleeping bag over them. Then they transformed into something totally new with wings, and they have an amazing design on their wings. Wow, and two long fluffy antennas. Their wingspan's over 10 inches long, and they now have six legs instead of 16. Uh, hmm, are they a beetle? No. No, beetles don't get that big. Definitely not a frog because frogs don't have wings. Huh. What did you say? A butterfly? It does kind of sound like they were a caterpillar after they came out of the egg. Yeah, butterflies and moths, they start that way. Butterflies don't get that big, so they, it must be a moth. Yeah, it's an atlas moth. Friends, have you ever heard of one of those? They live in Asia, or one of the biggest moths on the whole planet, and they have no mouth when they're an adult. How crazy is that? Well, let's find out what happens next with Jem and Lily. Hey, Lily, check out the design on your back. It's amazing, shouted Jem. Wow, it is. It is. Brown and... White and black, oh, with little teardrops at the end of wings, and they moved their wings a little more and tried to fly. 
like sure feel different when, when I was a caterpillar. I'm just not hungry at all. <laughs> I have very, I don't have much energy left, said Jem. Just then they heard something from the sky. Jem looked over at Lily and saw a bird swooping down to plug her from the branch he was on. Lily thought for a second and tried to do what Jem did to that lizard. Nothing happened. She did not know what to do, so she gently folded her wings up. As she did that, the bird screamed, Aah! stopped in mid-flight and looked really scared and confused. Jem couldn't believe what she was seeing. Wait a second, what in the world changed that bird's mind? What, um, what could be on the wings that could scare a bird off? You see, the bird took one more look at Lily and flew off faster than that bird had ever flown. Jem looked carefully at Lily and then realized what the bird saw. When Lily folded her wings up, the design on her wings looked like a cobra ready to strike. It only looked that way from one side. Whoa, how crazy was that? shouted Lily. I just scared off a bird. Jem explained why she thought the bird flew away, and they both agreed how grateful they were to have such a cool design. Jem and Lily moved off the stick they were on and realized they were by a lot of other Atlas moths. I'm sure glad there's a lot more of us here because I, I don't know how much I could fly. I just, I just have a little bit of energy, said Jem. Lily agreed, and they started to make new friends. They told the others about what had happened, and they were excited to learn more about being an Atlas moth. These two friends have been on quite the adventure so far, and even though this is the end of our story, it is only just the beginning of their amazing adventures that lie ahead. The end. Great job, friends! You made it all the way to the end! The Atlas Moth is such an incredible critter. It can spray liquid from its abdomen when it's a caterpillar. It has the design of a cobra on its wings as an adult, and it's one of the biggest moths in the world. The design on its wing is an amazing example of mimicry in the wild. It's a way for the moth to trick its predators like that bird into thinking there's something else very scary looking. We see this a lot all around the world, like a milk snake looking like a coral snake or a fly looking like a bee. Wow, what amazing critters that we have all around the world. Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!